I said, what? And she said, you saying that like knowing somebody getting killed is normal. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to say, rest in peace to Alan Bunch. Um, August 22nd, 1996. Was home from college. Junior year, I believe. And used to commit armed robberies during the summer. Me, Wallow, Al. Don't say nobody else's name. Bucky. Yo, what you saying people's names for? I mean, we, we used to, it was 20 plus years ago, man. We live in our truths, man. We changed, man. You know what I mean? We used to commit robberies. And during a robbery, One of my best friends, Alan Bunch, was shot. When you, you know, I had to drive him to the hospital. He shot. He in the back seat. You know, he bleeding. You know, I'm trying to talk to him, trying to keep him calm, trying to, you know what I mean, just trying to save his life. And as you can see, it definitely did something to to me because I remember the exact day I remember the exact time I remember dropping him off at the hospital running into the hospital getting locked up going from there from the district down to homicide being at homicide for 17 hours so and that was just one of many people that I've seen shot and murdered in a, in my you know in my lifetime. You know what I mean? I've been shot a few times, you know what I'm saying? An arm right here in my foot. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely do something to you. But then after you see it so many times and you see and know so many people that get shot and don't die and they survive, it becomes some normal to you. Where I'm from. Like, it's sad to say, but now you get calls and you like, such and such got shot. And you like, he died? No, no, he, he good. And it's just like, oh, all right, cool. All right, hit you back. The game about to come on. And that's really a person pulling out a gun and aiming it at another human being and trying to take you off of planet Earth. But that's so normal. And it's sad. So normal. We normalize. We normalize death. We normalize black hate. Like we, that black hate is the most dangerous thing in our community. The mm -hmm. black, the black hate is on a whole nother level. Where it's though we killing each other like crazy. You know what I mean? And it's like it come to a point where it's though we hate each other. We look like each other. We we are each other. We hate each other so much. We killing each other like uh, if you go, everybody you know you do you know anybody that was killed by anybody outside oh, yeah. of a black black race? Oh, outside of outside of the black I race. Mean, Puerto Ricans, obviously black. Well, I'm talking you know about that same. Yeah, same but I'm thing. talking about. Do you know any? Do you know anybody? From, nice. I don't know nobody that wasn't killed by a black man. Everybody that we know, the dozens of homies that we had, it doesn't. We was it was killed by black people, but we kill we kill each other. So it's like it just sad that that shit. He said something that's deep, and it's we going we suffering from trauma, but we don't dig it because we normalize like it's just it's just normal. Like I know I met a girl. She actually you know she actually uh, worked in Philadelphia. She's from San Diego. She said I, I never knew nobody that got killed. I said and I said what? And she said. You saying that like knowing somebody getting killed is normal. No, I'm just saying it because I'm shocked. I, and I didn't even dig. She said, yeah, that's like a, you just going through trauma. You don't even dig it. I'm like, damn, that's deep. Yeah, we just started learning words like like trauma. Like I probably saw yeah, the first true. person get shot like when I was like seven. And then you grow up seeing people laid out and shit like that to the point where I remember we used to go to the club in Philly, be outside of them Jones, like the Palmers and all of that. And it'd be a nigga laid out there dead. Laid out, right? Laid out dead. We stepping past him and talking to girls. And yep. everybody out there is talking to girls, showing off their That's car. Sad, the ambulance is there put, putting the sheet on him, putting it over. And the girls ain't moving. We ain't moving. When I look back, back then, it was just like, oh, yo, I'm trying to go to the diner. I'm trying to holler at something and go to the diner. And then you look back as a grown man and be like, damn, what the f was on our mind? Hungry hemorrhoids.